I don't want to get too dramatic, but... One does not just invite this particular guest into studio. One must pull said guest out of a council meeting. Mm -hmm. That's what you must do. You must pull them away from the very important processes that the city of Cape Town has in order to bring them here into studio in Greenpoint to ensure that they are here in person. Not on the phone. No, not on Zoom. Eh, eh. Mm -hmm. Live on the flash drive. This person has a, a beautiful repertoire. Uh, I can tell you when it comes to a lot of things, I've actually done the research on the studies as well of said person. You hey, have? Yeah. So, so in other words, research uh, means stalk. I stalked hard, mm -hmm. you know. I know about Klettenberg Bay. I know about Cape Town. I know about the studies. In fact, I realized, Zoe, that I actually could have been studying at the same time that this person studied at UCT. I just know about age meat. Do you know age meat? Mm. That's very personal. That's mm. more than stalking. Are you okay? I'm That's okay. A, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <laughs> the mayor of the city of Cape Town, wow. Jordan Hill Lua. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It was just like a. I wanted to make sure that you're welcome properly. I I hope I hope everyone uh, back at the office heard that because I think that should be my welcome music now. <laughs> that was awesome. Going I, that was amazing. <laughs> Well, uh, just welcome, and, and you know, the best welcome is, I asked kids a little earlier, I don't know why people get your name wrong all the time. Do you know that well, people Well, to could... be fair, it's, it's a difficult, complicated spelling. Actually, it's not. What I found out is that a kid's mind doesn't overcomplicate things. You uh. don't start looking at nuances. You don't have bias toward any other names. And we actually got some kids to try and pronounce your name. And it's, it's been a joy to listen to them. I wanted you to listen to a few because it's, it's G-E-O-R-D-I-N. Surely it's simple. Surely it's, it's easy. So uh, I would like you, dear Mayor, to take a listen to these incredible kids. What do you think that G E O R D I N? What does that spell? Jordan. Who? Jordan. Jordan. Impressive. Good job. Kiara, can you tell me what this word says? Garden. And what does it mean? Garden. 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 Alright, you're looking at what stone here? Jordan. Jordan. What stone here? Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. Mia, what stone here? Clank it for me. G E E O R D I N. So what is the word? Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, G Orden. What does Jordan mean? We had a whole conversation. President. Hi, this is Noah. I think the word means it's a Jordan. Sure. And I think it's a name. Okay, so what's that word that's written on there? I think it's Jordan. <laughs> These the guys kids. are impressive. Let me tell you, Carl, you were Spot right. On. That is way better than adults do every day of my life. Every day. I get Georden. <laughs> I, you name it. Gordon, Gordon, that's the most common. Georden. Yeah. Yeah, I, but this is why I wanted to play this for you because remember that the, the kids don't complicate things. If you actually just look at your name, a part of it is Jaw, like from George. Yeah. And then D I N, which is, means thin. Which is what you're getting. <laughs> uh, so it makes sense. Jordan, it makes sense. Oh, you, uh, you did that so diplomatically. I, what are you I talking about? It. You're getting thin. I don't know what you're doing you're in that on office the, of you're, yours. You're on the way to being thin. I love the way you did I that. Just, Thank you. You know Bless what? I, you, I, I heard about you training for a certain event and I just want to say it's working. You look great. Thank you, man. Yeah, Thank you do. You. What is that event that you're training for? I, For my sins, I've, I've you, sometimes you know you make a commitment in the heat of the moment and yes. you, you only get a chance to think about it later. Mm -hmm. I committed to doing the Argus Cycle Tour next hey, no. year and Eddie Andrews, my deputy mayor, <laughs> reminds me of it every time he sees me. How's that training going, Jordan? <laughs> It's only just started, so I've got I've got a long way to go. But you've got some time, so you're yeah. safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as you put in the hours, you'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, you you're gonna be great. I know it's gonna be you're you're gonna finish in the top at least thirty thousand. Thirty, yeah, thirty-three. <laughs> I'm gonna finish in the top thirty thousand. That's my goal. I think that's an extraordinary achievement. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to more people filling a certain stadium this weekend. I'm yes. sure you are so enthused that, um, you know, economical activity is back. We can start nourishing our economy and with DHL Stadium and a, it feels like a final against yeah. Wales. Boca versus Wales. 
we can now put 60,000 people in that stadium. That's right. And I know you're very excited about it, but a little birdie tells me you're about to welcome the Walsh team into Cape Town. Yes, I want right. to know, yeah. what, what are your strategies there to try and get us the edge? Well, I, I'm not in charge of the catering, otherwise I could, <laughs> I could guarantee a victory on Saturday, so they're lucky that uh, we're not in charge. Of the, All right. No, but, but I, th I thought that if I just, as I shake each one's hand, I'm just going to do a little cough yes. on, onto them. <laughs> <laughs> and just hope for the best. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Or a sneeze. Hi. Hi, Mr. Bigger. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Just, that's, I mean, the yeah. kid, that's an idea. I mean, just to let you know. But, uh, you know, you're going to welcome them. They need to see the the way the city operates. We yeah. are just we are a beautiful city. We're gorgeous. I look out the window all the time. And I'm like, this is so, it's such a privilege to be here. Uh, but I know that you also have with you. Today, it, today it must feel like home for them, actually. It must be cold and gray like Wales. It, it does. <laughs> Hopefully I mean, even though better. the only whales we enjoy are in Oman. Yes. Um, yeah, sorry about that. But I know you came with, you came packing. Yes. With a, an opportunity for two people to join you mm -hmm. at the game on Saturday. Now, let me just not tell just, you. Not just join me, but join me in the mayor's box. Yeah! VIP tickets. Uh, as as the mayor's guest at the game on Saturday. Look are, they, are they allowed to bring a buttercup? Yeah. <laughs> like a bucky, a Tupperware in their no, handbag. No problem. No problem. Okay, just to, because you know what? I can only imagine. I've never been to this this mayor's box, okay? But yeah. I've actually witnessed people from there. They seem happier about any result. You know that the uh, the stormers went down, um, you know, during that that final. And I thought, like, what is happening? Are they watching a different game? People just looked happy <laughs> constantly. I'm not sure if they serve different dope down there. I don't know. But the mayor's <laughs> box is proper. And I'm talking. If you're gonna watch it with Jordan Hill Lewis, you know that it's going to be. Because I actually heard you during that game shouting. Oh, cheap as well. Yes. And I was like, decorum. Decor de is there not? No, it doesn't matter. Remember that the mayor is a human. Shouts just like you. Absolutely. And I got a big, I got a beta stem. I've got a big voice. You've got a vocab as well. Yeah. I've heard that too at the game. I don't actually mention, I can't mention those words <laughs> on radio. Anyway, uh, so here's the thing <laughs> I would like you to do a quick fire with us. And the yeah. quick fire is simple. All right, uh, I want you to stick around for two reasons. Not only to do the quick fire, but mm. there's got to be a, a question that comes through that has to be outside of the parameters of Wikipedia. You know, I, I get, I did the stalk a little earlier. So did Zoe, as you can hear. There was an mm -hmm. Edgemead, there was Plettenberg Bay, there was UCT, uh, where I think that we actually went at the same time. Just letting you know, hashtag Jamie Steps. Now, oh, yes. I just wanted to make sure that the questions that come through are different. Because you get the same questions. Hi, Mr. Mayor, when are you fixing the potholes? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mayor, when are we going to go off the grid and stop load shedding? Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. Mayor, why is the petrol so expensive? What are we going to do? Hi, Mr. Mayor, can we make solar panels uh, cheaper? Hi, you know, all of the normal stuff. You must be bored. <laughs> you must be so no, bored. I, I'm never bored of answering residents' excellent, well-informed questions. Perfect. I like that. You see? Did you mm. hear what that was? It's called <laughs> Kids Diplomacy. <laughs> right. But today I am looking for a quick fire session. I can only pick five questions, but one of them will enthuse the mayor so much that you will be joining the mayor in the mayoral box, which is pretty much a haven of entertainment at a game. And as the spin box. Lots of those. Mm -hmm. Lots of those. Many of which the, the mayor will not eat, given the regime for the Argus. So it'll be a lot of celery and hummus for the mayor. <laughs> That's right. But for you, burgers. Samosas, acne, barakat. Line your pockets with foil for this unique experience <laughs> with the mayor. But first, you have to ask the question. Ask a, a unique question. Don't do the Wikipedia stuff like, oh, when's your birthday? Mm -mm. No, okay? We know when the birthday is, right? So the birthday, Jordan D. Lewis, is, is, is in? Somewhere in the year. In, yes. In, <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing if I think about, if I look at you now, I feel like your birthday could be like December. Oh, like around that time, like 7 December, something like that, or around there. When's your birthday? December. S when? 31. Oh, you're a New Year's Eve baby. Yeah. Oh my word, that is the coolest. <laughs> okay, 31. Why did I say 7 December? But no. I got it the December right. You did. Yes. Oh, I technically got it right yes, too. Yes, that's because it's somewhere in the year. Mm -hmm. that's, oh, that's fantastic. The last day of the year. Come on. When you when you say come on, I just I feel like you don't understand what the the level of the questions are. Can I give you an example? Let me tell you okay. a few 
who like sort of 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 these questions that didn't make the cut. One of them was uh, Long Street. Why is it not so long? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is one of those things. All right. Uh, another thing is uh, why not make property available on top of Table Mountain? It is flat. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that's that it. view. Exactly. Um, are you building a bridge to Robin Island? Like those types of things have, right. have come through. Okay. Also, funny enough, the unfinished bridge came up too, which is very, 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 very intriguing. However, we've decided. Now, there's a certain person who you employ mm -hmm. who has been part of the committee. Deciding on Oi. these questions. There's a guy called Duane. You know yeah. Duane? I, I know him. He's, yeah. he's probably mm -hmm. he's probably picked the worst of the worst. Uh, I, I feel like the thing is, have you noticed that Duane didn't come back into studio? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I think he's a bit. Scared. I think he's. I think he's really enjoying his last day with the city of Cape Town. <laughs> It must be so nice to go out <laughs> yeah. like this with a big bang. So, yes. <laughs> Where must like people that. send their CVs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. You know, yeah. just, uh, CVs are updated. We're ready to go. Okay. Stand by. Because here are the questions that have been given to you. It's quick fire. So we're just going to go into them and uh, let's hope that you got some good answers for them. And remember the one that you love the most, mm. that is the person who will win an executive experience in the mayoral box for the box versus Wales DHL Stadium. Don't miss it. All right. Here mm. it comes. First question is as follows. Hi, Mr. Mayor. What is your best party trick that I'll be able to see at the box on Saturday? In case you didn't hear that, your best party trick you'll mm. be able to see when, this is positivity, she wins tickets to that mayoral box. Party tricks. I can do like those lame basic magic tricks that I, I often try to do for my daughter. I can show you a, a card yes. trick. Really? A card trick. Yeah. Card can you tricks. make money appear out of my ear? I can. Can you make money appear at the end of the month? <laughs> <laughs> it's harder. <laughs> well, you know what? With Duane gone, yeah. there is an open, is a vacancy. You never know. This is great. Okay, thank you very much for answering that question. Over to the next one. This is quick fire. The next one is... Mr. Mayor, um, Simeon here. If you could choose anyone living past, present... Um, to sh share your mayor's box with, who would you actually want to share a seat with um, viewing the game coming up? Okay. Oh, what uh, a great question. So, I mean, I think, I think it would be amazing. I would love to watch a rugby game with Rassi Erasmus. Aww. Wouldn't that be incredible? <laughs> no, well, <laughs> Nikia, when you watch the documentary, he used one word so often. He, he, he did use yeah, one word so yes, often. Yes, it was friends. Family, yeah, Fu in the the F scenario there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, actually V. If you think about the Afrikaans of it, but um, wowza. So Rassi would be good, eh? I, I think that would be an absolute jewel. You still F in Afrikaans? Yeah, is it still? still yeah. Mm. Is it, it still? Is. I was, yeah. I was, I was going to correct you, but no, please <laughs> yeah. correct me. I need to be corrected. Yeah. It's important. But um, I will uh, say, if you do watch it with with that person, you'd have all the water you can think of. Exactly. You know, sparkling, still. You know, delivered right to me. That's correct. Yeah. With a bub, which would be nice. <laughs> Rassi is the answer. Thanks a lot for your question. Over to the next one. Take a listen. Is it possible for the local government to subsidize or to take tax off local Gatsby's that are sold? <laughs> I feel like this is a very important question for us as South Africans, as Cape Townians, as representatives of the Gatsby. It's chilly. I love her energy. I Look just, here, that, was, that felt like I was in a, a mayoral meeting that you were in. Yes. How to how to win ninety eight percent of the vote in the next <laughs> election? <laughs> Thank you for that incredible idea. I yeah. will I will look into it. Okay, fantastic. Looking into it. That's all because yeah. of you. Uh, the decision will be cut in four <laughs> and spread over all of the years um, that they will make that decision. Over to the next question. Take a listen to this. Mr. Mayor, such an honor listening to you on KFM this afternoon while we're on the road. Uh, bit of uh, outside of the box question here, but uh, we all know you're an excellent guy and we're happy to have you as our mayor. But I will wait for more weer. Stank your poop. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The 
Mayor has oh. gone multiple yeah. shades. Wow. So have I. Wow, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> he, but he, he, he led up to it with such seriousness. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the answer, the answer is natuurlijk. <laughs> but of uh, outside. <laughs> and Dwayne, you can pack your bags and leave. You don't even have to wait for the end of the show. Yeah, Dwayne, goodbye. Stay here, man. I got a job for you here. <laughs> there are cups on the desk that needs to be removed. Okay, cool. Okay, over to, <laughs> over to the final question. Please take a, a good listen to this. Hi, Mr. Mayor. Jessica here. So what I want to know is how do you scream when the box win, especially against Wales, just taking the last two games into account. I want to hear that victory scream. What wow. I'm getting here, Mr. Mayor, is that somebody wants to hear you scream. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too far into it, <laughs> but um, the, the question needs to be answered. It is quick fire. So, yes, Mr. Okay, Mr. So Mayor. I will say that the... Yes. The book of winning is the only time I scream. That, Carl, yes. I, I don't know what else you had in mind. I don't know either, but it's, yeah. I'm, I'm just directing it to the woman. She's responsible for that question. We um, did ask for out-of-the-box questions. Yes, indeed. That was Jessica so who asked that. Just, yeah. Let me just get myself in the frame of mind. It's probably going to be... There you go. Perfect. Okay. It's gonna be, okay. Let's go to the commentary and then you scream when that happens. Okay. okay it's just... Right. Beautiful uh, scenes here at THR Stadium. <laughs> Absolutely oh, amazing. Good Springboks up against Wales. It looks like a good performance here. Oh my word. It's a beautiful on, move boys. past that scrub. It's, it's over to Colby. Colby sidestepping. Sidestepping Come again. On, here comes here the hot go. stepper. Sidestepping over here. It's Cheston yes. Colby. Cheston coming to the try line. Here we go. Yes. It's Strata. Yes! Booker! <laughs> I felt like I was at the game. <laughs> Wow, the best part of that is you, we've actually got a living, breathing Hugh Bladen right here. That was incredible. Oh, thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. But look at Dwayne. You are fired. I'm sorry. This is the person. If you want to know who Dwayne is, okay, what would you call Dwayne in, in your offices? Well, I know you have other names now, but what's his job function? <laughs> Yes. Uh, Dwayne's like my assistant. He goes everywhere with me. He's an okay. awesome guy. Don't worry. He's, he's, Don't he's, worry. <laughs> I'm worrying. He you should know. be worried. <laughs> he should be very worried. Goodness, that was fantastic. Okay, here's the big decision. Uh, there were a couple of questions, five of which you answered so beautifully, including a scream, which that Jessica's very happy about now. Which one do you feel is worthy of a seat alongside you? <laughs> At the mayoral box, in the mayoral box at the Box versus Wales game this weekend. I think, given <laughs> given what's happening on Saturday, given that we want the whole city to scream for the Boca, yes, just like we screamed in studio. Now, yeah, yeah. The winner has to be what's her name, Jessica. Yes, Jessica. You and one friend or family member are coming with me to the box. Absolutely amazing scenes here. Short and Hill Lewis gives Jessica a place alongside him in the mayoral box for the box versus Wales Cup coming up this weekend. Absolutely amazing scenes here at KFM. Not to 4.5. <laughs> Great. Well done to Jessica. <laughs> Those uh, tickets are on the way to you. And uh, before we say goodbye to the mayor of the city of Cape Town, I feel like it's important for the mayor to understand what you go through on a daily basis, and that is traffic. Uh, Zoe, you're not doing it, eh? No, I'm oh. sitting back today. Yeah. Okay, sitting back and relaxing because presenting to you in an exclusive Eyewitness News traffic, it's not often that you get the mayor of the city of Cape Town delivering to you traffic in Cape Town. All right, Jordan Hill Lewis, it's an exclusive. What do you have on the road? All right, let me just get into the perfect traffic voice. All right, Carl, thank you. In your traffic this afternoon on the N2, outgoing traffic is slowing down at Borchard's Quarry to the R300. On the M5, south traffic is slow between the N1 and Crombom Road. On the M3, south traffic is slowing down at Hospital Bend to Newlands Avenue. Heavy tra traffic on Gate, uh, Jake's Havel Drive, south from Danafontaine Road to the R300. There are two traffic signals faulty. Sorry, we should have sorted that out by now. In Rondebosch at Campground Road and Park Road. <laughs> In Kailitsha at Masimola and Fukuta Road. That is your traffic. Uh, if you have any other traffic updates, please send them to the number that Zoe normally reads. I don't have it oh, with me. 082-945-0940. With your traffic for KFM, I'm Jordan Hildur. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. 
And there we go. You are all sorted out. Also, um, the traffic lights and the yeah. potholes. We'll get on to that. <laughs> the show that drives you home with the most music. The Flash Drive with Carl Wasty. Only on KFM 94.5.